Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did my most recent Wonder Woman drawing from start to finish, including colors, and my thoughts on the most recent trailer and the upcoming movie. So, stick around. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Wonder Woman. Well, specifically Gal Gadot, specifically in the movie Wonder Woman 1984 that's coming up. This is my drawing of her. I'm gonna be honest, boys and girls, you better cover your ears because I'm about to blaspheme. I'm gonna simp on no simp September, you guys, so get ready. Simp! But first, real quick, let's just, let's just talk about this drawing. Let's just talk about what's happening on screen. The drawing you're seeing me work on now is done primarily in Procreate. I say primarily because at the very end I had to tweak some colors in Photoshop and I'll go through that. Procreate is a phenomenal fucking program um, on the iPad. It's, it's missing a couple of things that I'm used to when it comes to coloring that Photoshop offers. However, nothing currently beats Procreate software on any tablet when it comes to just making lines. Nothing feels more natural. If you are used to doing digital penciling and doing like I just did there, just chopping things up, moving things around, and just feeling like it's all happening, happening naturally, Procreate is the best at it. Also, if you're looking at the drawing right now and you're like, Hey, it doesn't look like Gal Gadot. Where's my Gal Gadot? Uh, don't worry, I'll fucking get there. It takes a little time. Uh, it's likeness, man. You fucking know how hard likeness is. If you know how to draw, it's a real fucking pain in the ass. So hold on to your damn horses. Gal Gadot, what an attractive lady. I personally don't remember her at all from the f uh, Fast and Furious movies. Maybe you do. I don't. I'm, I think they killed her off. I'm pretty. Did she fall out of a fucking airplane? I don't know. Whatever. I think she's a solid Wonder Woman. When she was first announced, I remember there's always blowback whenever anybody's announced. I talked about it in my last video. People are never fucking happy, right? She wasn't big enough or buff enough. She's too thin. You know, hashtag not my Wonder Woman. Assholes. Never happy. Always complaining. I think she's great at the role, by the way. I mean, how buff do you want her to be? Do you want her to fucking walk around, look like the damn Hulk. Although, you know what? Seeing a lady cast who looks like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, but in Wonder Woman's outfit, that would be something I'd be interested in seeing. So maybe, you know what, scratch that, I'd take it back. I want a super, super fucking buff Wonder Woman. I'll be real with y'all for a second. As a man who's been punched in the face a couple times by some grown women, Gal Gadot looks like she could throw a punch herself. She doesn't look that weak. And also, come on, man, she's got a magic rope, dude. She's got a magic rope and she's got superpowers. She doesn't have to be that strong looking. I mean, isn't she made out of clay or something? Didn't Zeus like come lightning into like a batch of clay and that's where she comes from or something weird like that? You know what? Let's talk about the first movie just super, super fast. I thought it was excellent. Well, all right. Caveat, I thought two out of three parts of it were awesome or whatever, man. I liked everything up until that last fight with Ares. I love that whole fish out of water thing where she's trying to figure everything out. And I, I like that they're doing the reverse of that in this new movie, at least that's what it looks like. But to me, it all falls apart once the final act comes and then it just, it's a full on CG shit show where it goes full-blown, boring comic book movie. I'm a comic book movie connoisseur. I like that shit. But the way <laughs> the way things were in the end of the film, they were just so forgettable and so blah. It was just another, you know, giant bad guy that you don't care about, that you have no, like, ties to, and the reveal that, like, oh, this guy that you were dealing with is really the bad guy. Oh no, go get him. Womp womp, boo boo, who cares? Think about it with me right now. I tell you, uh, think about the first Wonder Woman movie. 
what comes to your head? Is it the fucking awesome scene of her in the trenches walking across, her with Steve Trevor learning about the new world? Thy mascara dude with all those bad bitches killing shit? Or are you or are you thinking about the mustachio dude who turned out to be Aries at the very end? Uh, apologies to Dave Thulis. I really fucking liked you in the Harry Potter films. Also, uh, back to the drawing. In case you were wondering, I definitely am using a photo for reference. We you know one of the promo photos for the new movie. Is that cheating? I don't know. Somebody asked for it. What am I going to do? And in conclusion, when it comes to my thoughts on the first Wonder Woman movie, despite the less than awesome finale, it still does way better in my book than another female-led superhero movie Captain Marvel. Now I'm assuming you guys have all watched the newest trailers up on uh, wherever the fuck you watch trailers. I've got questions, dude. I've got some, I got some questions. How the hell is Chris, Chris Pine? God, there's so many damn Chris's, Evans, Emsworth, Brad. No, but how is this Chris? How the hell is he still alive? It's probably magic, right? Probably bad magic. Are we going to have to watch this same motherfucker die again? Because I think I'm all out of sympathy for watching Chris Pine die. I mean, I get it, right? It's superheroes. Hey, little heads up for, for people who aren't familiar with superhero comics who are watching this video, which thank you. Nobody ever stays dead in superhero comics. They really don't save a couple that they say they can never bring back, AKA Uncle Ben. But guess what? If you guessed they did that in comics, you guessed right because they did do that at some point. Yeah, yeah, if that doesn't make much sense, you know, hey, why why bring back from the dead a, a character that's death is intrinsic to that said character's development? Well, it's comic books, but it's comic books. That's the only answer you need. Hey, you know who looks really fucking good in this, shockingly? Well, not shockingly, she's a handsome older lady. Kristen Wiig, Kristen Wiig, not not too, not too shabby looking in this trailer. I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a little bit concerned with the whole her turning into Cheetah thing. Well, if you didn't know, spoilers, but well, like I said, you should have watched the trailer already. She's going to be one of uh, Wonder Woman's nemesis in the film. The other being Maxwell Lord, played by the Mandalorian, Pedro Pascal. You know, here's a little tidbit. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere in an article that people who worked on the movie when they were coming up with ideas for the character of Maxwell Lord, they were trying to base him off real people. And one of the people that they found that was a popular businessman in the 80s was, you guessed it, none other than the Grand Cheeto himself. Uh, <laughs> uh, 45. Uh, you let me know if you see the resemblance. The more I see photos of Kristen Wiig as Cheetah from the movie, the more and more I see fucking cats, the movie. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me you don't see cats. Tell me you don't see Kristen Wiig's Cheetah showing up in that fucking freaky cat movie. Side note, does Wonder Woman and Cheetah ever got together? I know, you know, Wonder Woman, she's like part lesbian, you know, she spent hundreds of years on that island. And if so, does that make her a furry? Extra side side note, is Gal Gadot a MILF? All right, back to the art. I've done everything in grayscale, and by that, I'm, I've added all the value to the image. So a little art trick, if you're not already aware of it, is what you can do in things like Photoshop and Procreate. You can superimpose the colors onto the piece. You don't have to draw them solely on their own. And this is a time saver and also very helpful if you suck at coloring like yours truly. Shout out to my boy Dave Tran who gave me a little coloring assist on this. After I'd finished coloring Wonder Woman, I'm like, hey, what the fuck should I do for a background? And Dave's like, well, why don't you try doing this for the background? And I did, and he was right. So thanks, Dave. Okay, we're quickly approaching the end now, so let me give you one more little art tip uh, for the road. And this one is important. Even more important than my comments about Gal Gadot being a furry. When you're using reference, when you're using photographic reference, 
do not ever feel shackled by the reference. But Mikey, I'm trying to do a portrait. Of course I gotta use reference and stick to it. Yes, if you're worried about likeness, you should try to capture that likeness as best as possible. What I'm talking about is the rest. When it comes to the body, the colors, the pose, anything that doesn't look right to you, feel free to fucking change. Make the image work, even if it's not exactly what you're seeing. Oh man, you know, we didn't even have a chance to go over that fucking cool gold suit that she's wearing with the wings. Or talk about the Flashpoint movie that might reset this entire universe. Oh well, whatever. It looks fucking good. I'm excited to see it. Well, those are my probably problematic thoughts on the hopefully soon to be released Wonder Woman movie. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.